I'm KT with the MCS. So today I have this for you guys on a new pistol. Let's check it out. This is the new pistol right here. This is the Walter PDP. This is a compact version of it. It comes with a four inch barrel. And the new feature is this little cover here. You can remove that to install a sight, just like this one here. We install the sight right there. You can install a pistol sight. Basically what all you have to do is remove this cover and replace one of these plates. Depends on which sight mount you have. And you can put it on. This little sight right here, if you get it, this is the ASEAN sight, and you can put on the little rail piece right here to install on the standard picking tail rail, or if you remove the rail, then you need to use these plates right here. And these plates comes with your pistol when you make a purchase. There are four plates. I'm using one right here on this one here, so you can see there are a couple of numbers right there you can use, and then you match it up right there on your pistol. It's really nice. Now you can do a little shooting, get a little more accuracy, on your pistol. You have option of getting a blue version or the option of getting a black version right here. Just to show you side by side comparison, the PPQ and the PDP. They're pretty much about the same size. They weight about the same. Magazine wise, so if you have your PDP magazine, it is not compatible with your PPQ. Your PPQ magazines are different, so if you can have a P PPQ, you have to get the PDP magazine. Right there. You do have an option to get the quick piercing magazine right here. That's an option for you to get as well when you get your magazine. So there's a standard version which come with your pistol, or you can get the quick piercing version, which I kind of show you how to load up. So to install this magazine, of course, you have to kind of turn this little wheel to the rear position, insert your cylinder, just drop it in, and then turn the wheel until it really get to the stop top where your cylinder is moving, or see it is moving more, that's when you stop. On your magazine wise, do the same thing, slide your back cover down. Don't go all the way, a lot of people pull too hard, and the whole thing comes out like this, and a bunch of part comes out, and you have, all you have to do is just put it back. But just that's, not, that's where it goes, okay? The pistol still have your tool inside here, so you pop. You can use your finger to pop it out. I general I do is I use the magazine to kind of pop it like this, right there. Make it easy on me; doesn't hurt my finger. And then here you go. You slide down your magazine, just like that. Back it out until a point where your cylinder can just drop in. That's about right. Drop it in right there. And then turn it in. Just do it quickly. Sometimes you want to drop a little oil in there if you want to, but you only do that once in a while. You don't have to do it every single time. It's good to do it every single time. It helps uh, the seal from get dried up. And that's definitely an option for you to do there. All right, so now it's ready. All you have to do is just uh, put in your projectile. Just top of projectile. This is the paintball. You have the option of using rubber ball .43 caliber. You have PVC rounds and then you also have the pepper rounds. So it depends on what you have. You can load it in and shoot it. So right here, just pull your lever down all the way. Latch it in and then just drop your round in. It holds eight rounds. You can squeeze in the ninth one too. I don't recommend a lot of people kind of squeeze it in. That will cause the round to crush crush in and then it make a problem so right there that's ready to go and then this is the quick piercing version slide down lock into place drop it in it's pretty nice that you have the cylinder in the magazine so any leaking or problem you have it's in the magazine instead of the pistol say for example a lot of time where the air is inside the pistol and if there's a leakage or a problem the whole pistol have an issue this version here if there's ever an issue, we just change out the magazine. All right, so we're gonna shoot this one first since it's already puncture and load and everything. You can just shoot it. Okay, so we're gonna drop it in, back it back, and then ready to shoot right here. I have a little target for you see. There you go. When it's empty, the slide lock back. You can take the mag out. You can lock it back, reload. Each cylinder can load roughly about 40 shots, so you can just reload and shoot again. On this version here, a lot of people like to use this version for defense use because they can lock the projectile in and keep the cylinder in there without puncturing it. So when you do need to use it, you just tap the button right here. You can use 
the like a solid object or hard surface to hit it down or use a palm to hit it so in this case we're actually use my palm right here and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do and that will puncture the cylinder already now you can actually shoot without having any problem right there all right so now we're gonna drop it down and i'm gonna shoot right there now it's empty ready to go if you have your previous generation version where you have your holsters for example your pvq holster you can use this one here the same one you have and what's nice about this holster too it's open top so using the site you still can use your holster right there really nice we do have the lake option the low ride lake option same setup you can adjust the screw out to expand on your pistol depends on the version you have you can expand it out adjust it wrap around your leg your thigh and you get to go on your holster all right, guys, any question, comment, concern, visit our website, mcsus.com, and we'll support you. Thanks for watching.